asynchronous counter mod 8. The, you can look at the diagram, you can see the mod 8 is very very similar to the mod 10. The only difference you can find that the pin number 2 and 3, pin number 2 and 3, uh, in the case of a mod 10, it was grounded to deactivate that reset pins. And in this case, you can see that instead of 2 and 3 is being connected, now in case of a mod 8, it is being connected to the pin number 11. Now I am coming to the why it is being connected, because you already I uh, explained in case of a mod 10 that we have 7490. This is the this is the uh, pin diagram so 7490. Therefore, we have 2 and 3, the reset pin. When it is given high, the complete, the four, all the four flip-flops become, uh, the output becomes 0. Therefore, it becomes reset. Now, in this case, you can see that in this case, the outputs, the most significant bit is the 11, pin number 11, then 8, then 9, and the 12 is the least significant bit. Now, when it is become, when the output will become 8, binary 8, that means, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now what we wanted to do, we don't want to display 8, that means 1, 0, 0, we don't want to display. We, we want to reset it to uh, 0, 0, after 7. After 7 we want to, want to reset. Therefore, when it displays 1, 0, 0, 0, we are, we are making this, the, it will become 1, when 11 will become 1, the pin number 11 will become high, then we are giving to, giving to the 2 and 3. As soon as the 2 and 3 will get the high signals, then the, all the uh, flip-flops will become reset. Therefore, instead of uh, displaying 8, it will display 0. It will display 0. Therefore, in this case, the display will be happened to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and it, it will reset to, it will, re, it will reset back to 0. And that is the concept here. Now I'm we are, I'm showing the connections. Now I'll show that uh, that step by step. Now first I, I have chosen this. You can see 7490 IC I have chosen, and I've I have shown uh, here. This is the QD, QC, QB, QA, and and uh, first I have to mod 10. Now I'll switch on that. I'll switch on that. I'll give the I give. You can see that I automatically I've shown in the pulses. Uh, you can see uh, that uh, you can you can see that it is a mod 10 it, it is mod you can 0 1 2 uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then it is becoming 0 now now you see I'll switch off that I'll switch off that what are the changes I'm making I have made that 2 3 you can look at that that 2 3 uh, whatever the uh, reset pin 2 3 I have made it to ground I made it to ground instead of grounding now I'm connecting to the you can see and uh, now I'm connected to the pin number 11 now I'm uh, I'm taking it out from the ground and I'm putting it to the pin number 11 you can see the pin is the pin number 11 now you can see instead of the mod in, instead of mod 10 it will become a mod 8 now I'll switch on I, I put a clock automatically one hertz that means every one second a pulse will be created therefore you can see the more it was previously mod 10 now it will become mod 8 you look at that now in switch on you can see this uh, this is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then reset 0 and 1 2 and then and you can see I have seen and this you can 7, then it is becoming reset. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, reset. Therefore, you can see that the 7, 7490 has become, has, has become a mod 8. Now, uh, we have seen that output uh, in, in, in the uh, output side in the binary forms. Now, we, if you want to display into the seven segment display we have to uh, we, ha we have to uh, take uh, seven seven double four seven and the seven segment display exactly the same connections what we have done for mod 10 
Therefore, we are we, we are going to connect that uh, f uh, the uh, re remaining connection for seven double four seven and for seven segment display, and we'll we'll display the more eight into the uh, seven segment display. We'll continue the connections. Seen the output of the mod 8 in the binary forms, then we want to display now in the seven segment display. Same thing. Then for that we want that seven double four seven IC and the seven segment display. Now already I con already I connected the. You can see this is I placed the seven uh, seven double four seven. I placed it here and seven segment display also I placed it here and VCC and grounding are already connected and you can see here that 12 that means QA should be connected to 7 therefore you can see that is that QA that is that uh, that is the 12 you can I have to connect to 7 I have to connect to 7 therefore I am connecting to this is the 12 I connect it to 7 then you can see there 9 9 has to be 9 is this it has to be connected to that means QB has to be connect, has to be connected to 1 therefore, therefore I am connecting to 1 and then you can see here this is QC and the pin number is 8 pin number is 8 is, is to be connected to 2 is to be connected to 2 I have connected to 2 and and you can see the pin number 11 is to be connected to 6 that is the pin number I have connected to 6 that means that means what we are doing here that whatever the binary out binary output we are giving as an input to the 7447 and combination this combination 7447 and the seven segment display will the will the display in the decimal forms now you can come to this now now we'll connect the 13 now pin number 13 you can see the pin number 13 has to be connected to 7 therefore i am connecting pin number 13 pin number 13 here of the 747 i have to connect it to 7 of the 7 segment display therefore 7 where is the 7 this is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i am connecting to 7 now you can see there 12 has to connect 12 has to be connected to 6 therefore i am connecting 12 I am connecting 12 to 6. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and connecting to 6. Connecting to 6 of the 7 segment display. Now, now you can see that 11 is connected to 4. The 11 is connected to 4. Therefore, you can see that uh, here, here is the 11. Here, here is the 11. And 7 segment display is, is, is connected to 4. Therefore, seven segment display is four. You can look at that four. One, two, three, four. They were connected to four. In this way, we'll complete the connections. Now, now you can see that uh, ten. Ten is ten is ten here. Ten. Ten is connected to. Uh, and you can see that ten. Ten is connected. Ten is connected to two. Ten is connected to two. And then you can see that nine is connected to one. Therefore, 9 is connected to 1. 9 is connected to 1. 9 is connected to 1. And then you can see 15 is connected to and 9. Therefore, 15 is connected to 9. This is 9. This is 10 pin. 7 segment display is a 10 pin. And already I told this is a 10 pin. Therefore, I have shown. And then, and then 14 is connected to 10. The 14, 14, 14 here. 14 here I have connected to 14 and 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 connected to 10 another important thing is that 3 or 8 you can look at that 3 or 8 has to be connected to 1k therefore 3 or 8 I am connecting 3 here I am connecting 3 you can see this is the 3 uh, and it is therefore I put it 1k here you can you can look at that 1k resistance one end is connected to one end is connected to 1k resistance the other end will go to the the other end will go to the VCC. Other end will go to the VCC. And that is the all about the connections. And the five will remain open. Therefore, that is all about the connections. Now we did the connections. And another thing we should not forget that there are in the seven double four seven, and there are three pins are there, LT bar, 
RBI bar and RBO bar. This LT stands for lamp test, RBI stands for a ripple blanking input and RBO stands for ripple blanking output. These three we do not require in our case. Therefore, all these three should be, should be connected to VCC. Therefore, I am connecting three. You can look at that. I am connecting three to VCC. Then four also I am connecting to VCC. Then and five also I am connecting to VCC to deactivate them, to deactivate. Because you have to deactivate this test. Therefore, I am connecting to VCC. That, that should not be forgotten. And then after connecting, uh, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can see that. Now we will see the output. You can see that it is coming from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 0. That is the output.